All right, this is a cluster I bought on eBay for the temperature gauge for my car's a 2010 Hyundai Elantra. My car doesn't have this, so I tried it out. Well, it doesn't ha it's missing the wire, so I can't use it. So now this is just a, a spirit gauge until I decide to add the wire for it. But um, this is how they adjust the odometer reading if you have incorrect odometer. Uh, what you have to do is take the plastic cover off, pull off all the nozzles. If you don't know how to do it, you hold to the where they bottom out and then just keep twisting and pulling and eventually just pops right off see so you do that for all of them see and then pull off the back we got to get all the way down to the board so I'm gonna do this in like little segments because I gotta hold the phone to do this next you want to get off the back cover taking off all the little clips this back cover comes off I already took it off so there it goes now to make this easier instead of running out to the car a hundred times to make sure your odometer is correct. You got pads up here for ground, bat ignition positive, or battery positive. Well, for some reason, I couldn't get the solder to stick to ground here, so I got ground here. Same thing. So I put uh, a lead to battery positive right here. See, here's a lead, just a regular lead, and another lead here, just to ground. So I just hook this up to a nine volt battery. It'll power up the display so I can see the. Uh, odometer reading. I'll show you that in a second. Alright, here it is hooked up to the 9 volt battery. Here's ground, positive lead. There's the odometer. 196,651. Alright, so write that down. So like this you could uh, put in the calculator to find out uh, where it is on the um, EEPROM. Or, you know, if you ever need to go back to it. But uh, just to show you that the 9 volt powers it up. All right, let me uh, take it apart further and uh, put these videos together after. All right, here's the board all taken apart. Now what you got to do is find the EEPROM chip. It's going to be a four-legged chip, a little chip like this. There's going to be two of them. This is not a EEPROM. This is an EEPROM. So the way you're going to find out is get the numbers off of it, Google it, and you're going to find it if, uh, if it's an EEPROM or not. So that's not an EEPROM, but this one is. Um, You'll see the numbers off of it in, as soon as I uh, look it up for you. Alright, this is the chip we're going to be removing. The easiest way to take it out was hot air, so you don't have to mess up with any contacts. But another way you could do is put solder across all the pads and use a solder iron to lift it. I don't like that method, so I'm going to do the easiest way possible. Get a hot air station, and you're gonna heat up the pet. You're gonna heat up that uh, that chip. Shouldn't take very long. That's it. Next, you want to put the chip inside the adapter if you have one. If not, you're going to have to solder wires to each little pin. And there's a, uh, a program you can make with some resistors and stuff. I'll link it in the description and a video to how to do that one. But I have an actual programmer to program all kinds of chips, EEPROM chips, uh, TSOP chips, all kinds of stuff. That's about 100 bucks. So I program a bunch of other things too. So... Uh, there's a chip. I put it inside a little adapter. Makes it easy. And then uh, you want to make sure it's in the right orientation. Uh, usually the writing facing up in this way. So you just stick it in there. And lock it in place. And we're going to load the program up. Uh, program is called Launch USB Program. All right, what you want to do next is click on device. It's going to pop up this, what kind of chip you have. You got to read the chip and a little fine print. This one's a 93C46. It's an 8-bit. If you do 16-bit and when you read and you get a bunch of empty lines, like the top's full but the bottoms are empty, that means it's an 8-bit. So this one's an 8-bit. So just click on uh, 93C46, as close as you can get to it. Um, I click select and now we're going to read the chip I click read 
and then buffer. Now here's the information. If you if you do the 16 bit and you get a lot of these FFFF lines all the way down, it means uh, it didn't read um, the chip properly. But here it read the chip. So um, all right, after you have all of it, um, after it read, this is your dominant reading, by the way. This one, this one, and this one. But anyways, since you have it read, you can't modify it here. So this just reads and writes. So we're going to have to save this. Save as. Oh, it's so hard doing it, looking at my phone at the same time. And then we'll just type in whatever, blah, 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 blah. 555. Five, five. It don't matter. Just name it whatever. I'll make it a new folder. Alright, we could close the program out. Uh, here's my new folder. There's the bin. We're going to open that in the hex editor. Alright, here's the bin file we saved. That uh, That's the one we have to open. Uh, my internal hex editor program for my computer, I don't like the way it's working. So I'm going to use an online version. So we're going to go to online. There's the website you got to go to. And then what you got to do is go to open. Uh, desktop. Where is it? New folder. Folder 2. This one. Open. Alright. So, here's the values we have to modify. See, there's one there, one there, one there. We're going to need a program uh, called uh, TechSoft 23.1. Uh, let's see if I have it uh, still installed. Here, TechSoft 21.3. Right here, you could Google it, find it online. I'll, I'll, I'll also uh, link, it, uh, I'll link it in my description. Make it easier. All right, see the load. Let's go. All right, the program's called Techo. 23.1 or TechSoft 23.1. I'll link it in my description. Uh, let me close this real quick. All right, this is a program for uh, tachometers. It makes it so much easier. You select the car you got. Uh, Hyundai, where is it? Hyundai. The one I'm working on is a 2010 Hyundai Elantra. So Hyundai Elantra. Do, 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 do. It's, where is it? Can't do this one. That. 2010 year and older so we have to do this one uh, right here 93 c46 2000-2009 it'll work and then it gives you a description what you're going to be looking for uh, sometimes it, it's right sometimes it's wrong but it's pretty close so then what you're going to do is enter the mileage you want here um, I don't know up at like uh, 350,000 or 360,000 miles I don't care reprogram it so 360 <clears throat> all right and then you click calculate now this is the hex code in made now for this to work you have to revert well this is a bad example all right let's let's do a different one um uh, 556 890 we'll say all right, calculate. All right, perfect. So we got, and don't worry about the kilometer thing here. It, it it's weird. So uh, five five six eight nine zero is the how many miles I want. And now for this to work properly, you have to reverse these. So it would be ninety seven six f f f a a. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. So I'll show you that in a minute. So this is what it should look like after you reverse it. The original was 7FF6CAFF. So it should show F6-7F-FF-CA for the correct odometer rate for now for the miles we did, which was uh, 350,982. So what you want to do is grab this mileage right here, copy it. Alright, here's the bin file we saved. That uh, That's the one we have to open. 
Uh, my internal hex editor program for my computer, I don't like the way it's working, so I'm going to use an online version. So we're going to go to online. There's the website you got to go to. And then what you got to do is go to open, uh, desktop, where is it? New folder. Folder 2, this one, open. All right. So here's the values we have to modify. See, there's one there, one there, one there. So let's go back to that uh, text file we made. Remember, we switched them. Let's see, it's focus. Come on. All right. So we're going to copy the ones we converted over. So see, we flipped them. So you want the new flipped version. Copy. Sorry about all this. I'm trying to look at the screen and look at my phone. All right, so we're gonna click that, right click it, and we're gonna click on fill. And then you're just gonna paste the new values in here. Come on, focus. All right, there's one value. Then do it again for this one, highlight it, fill value. value and then the other last one which is right here fill and I just like pasting it I don't know why which just it's the same thing you just clicked OK all right so there you go all three of them are identical see those are only three lines you should be modifying you want to click save it's gonna pop up um, yes, you want to download it. We have to open it up right here. Oh my god, this focus sucks. All right, let's see. There it is right here. I'm going to rename it so it doesn't write over the original one. So we'll name it 6666. I don't care. And we're going to move it to that other folder. So we're going to cut it out of here. Close that. Sorry, I'm just trying to do this. It's like complicated. All right, that's the original one. We're gonna paste the new one that we just downloaded, that we made right here. All right, so now we can close the website, the web browser, we don't need that no more. Go back to our programming software. There's a programmer. That's the original stuff, remember? So we just want to read it one more time, make sure that uh, everything's reading properly still. Okay, it's working still good. So now we do file. Oh my god, come on, focus. There it goes. File, open. We're going to do a new one 666. Standard, yes. Normal, normal. All right, you can see we have our new settings there. And then we're just going to write to the chip. We don't have to erase it or anything. Just write. So uh, here we'll do this one. Write. Writing. Verifying. Done. Now we're just going to read it to make sure it looks the same. Perfect. Looks the same. All right, we're good to go. So now we have to solder it back into our, uh, into our board here. Solder it back right there where it belongs with the same orientation that you had it in. Uh, no, I don't want to see. All right, now we're just gonna solder it back right there and use the hot air station again. Let that warm up a little bit. Get the little pliers. Pop the chip onto the pad the best I can. Ah, oh, sucks. And then we're gonna just heat it up. Ah, oh, you bastard.
All right, chips in place. That sucks. Every time you gotta make a video, it makes you look bad. But whatever, it works. Heat it up. Get them pads nice and hot. It's nice and hot. Just, just try to line it up best you can. Okay, hold it there. Just trying to cool it down a little fast. Oh, this shit's still hot, motherfucker. Okay, just hold it there for a second or two. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot still. All right, just inspect it. You know, make sure that uh, all the pads line up and legs are touching. Looks good. Now we're gonna put it back in the casing where the LCD is so we could check it out. There's little pins here. They line up with this piece. There's one extra little pin here. So if you put it in the wrong slot, it's not gonna show the display properly. You're just gonna have to pull it on and do it again. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, after you have it put back together and you got the pins lined up correctly, hook up the power little battery again and there you go 350 981 then after that put the K back cover back on I obviously you take off little yellow leads because you know the power wires just can't you have that and then uh, when you put all your dominant stuff back in put them high up and then push them in and then bottom them out and push them back in so it's level on the odometer you want the line to sit just under this white line and the same thing for the, um, the zero you might have to play with it a little bit to get it exactly where you want it after pulling them off but other than that um, there's your odometer reading okay. there you go hooked up the battery for what we set it to see so, uh, just show you keep that on 350 982 381 one mile off but big deal uh, you know it's pretty correct all right there you go guys so I mean it's a quick video I try to piece it together so I'm trying to hold the phone at the same time a soldering and dealing with the programming and all that so if you need any more information I'll uh, I'll try to help you but that's the best I could do on uh, making a video Alright, if you don't have a programmer like the one I have here, the GQ4X, and you just want to build your own, here's an easy serial one that uh, another YouTuber is using. It'll work on this too. It's, you know, you just have to put it together. Um, look up his video. Speedcar100. He's got a, a pretty good video, and then in his uh, description, he has the links for the write-ups and all that. But that's for a Honda Accord. All you want is the information for the programmer. So I guess you could just build your own, solder it to each of the leads, you know, pin one and all the way to, you know, pin eight, to solder them all up. And then you could program it that way. So you don't have to buy a $100 program. You can make it with, you know, five, 10 bucks or even stuff you have laying around. Follow this guide just to, for the programmer and then switch back to mine to finish on the Hyundai Elantra.